Hi everybody, it's Moabi, and I just wanted to get on here and say thank you so much for 500 subscribers. It's a really big milestone, and I'm super proud to have hit it, and I'm super excited to keep making drum videos. I thought it would be kind of fun if I told you guys my top five favorite albums for 500 subscribers. So obviously if you've seen my channel, you've seen that I have a very wide variety when it comes to my music taste. I like all types of genres and all types of artists. And I have so many favorite albums that I wish I could put on this list, but I'm just gonna give you the top five. And these albums are not only gonna be what I think, in my opinion, are the best albums that sound the best. I'm also factoring in how influential they were for my love of music. And if they're just my favorite album, really. Okay, so for number five, I have Igor by Tyler, the Creator. So this album is pretty new, but I would say it's had a really strong influence on my love for music just because it's done something so different that I really haven't heard until then. I think Tyler is a brilliant writer and his lyrics are just amazing, but the oral space that he creates with this album is something that I've never heard before and it's so exciting and re-listenable to me that I really just find myself going back and listening to it so often. Number four is Songs About Jane by Maroon 5. So this is probably the first album that I ever fell in love with as a kid. My dad had this album in his car, so anytime we were driving in the car we would listen to songs about Jane. And I just remember like knowing the tracks up and down and loving so many of them. And then now that I'm a little bit older that I just listen to it. I think it's a phenomenal first album to come out from Room 5 and it just has so much character and rawness that I really love. Number three, this might come as a surprise, but I have Moving Pictures by Rush. So many of you may know that Tom Sawyer is the reason that I learned to play drum set. I just heard that song and I thought it was the coolest song I'd ever heard and I knew I had to play it on drums. So that's why I started playing set and Neil Peart is my biggest drum inspiration ever. I think he's just... His technique and everything is just unmatched. Um, and Moving Pictures is really the first Rush album that I got into that was just mind-blowing to hear that type of stuff. Alright, so number two on this list is Vessel by 21 Pilots because this is just a really personal album to me. This is certainly the album that I've listened to most in my life from front to back. It's really just really important to me. I love the message that it has and I just love the way it sounds. The drums were really interesting to me at the time. They still are today. Josh Dunn is awesome and yeah, I just love that album. And the number one most influential and my favorite album of all time is A Night at the Opera by Queen. This should not come as a surprise. This album is awesome. I think it's probably a perfect album. A lot of people will probably agree with me on that. It's just, I'd never heard music that sounded like that. And every single aspect of it, bass, guitar, keyboard, singing, everything is just awesome. And I love it so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm enjoying to make more drum videos for you guys. Bye.